basketball wax pack, I'm going to show some of the goodies that we picked up on our trip. Excellent. Does your daughter like the uh, the movie? Yes, she did. She liked the movie a lot. Did you like it? I did. I didn't, you know, I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't, can't get to too much detail. Yeah, see, that's with, exactly what I told J5. In, I said I still, liked the movie. Look, I don't really understand fully what happened. Yeah. But I was entertained, and I'm glad I went. It was fun. I don't fully believe what happened. Well, I mean, you know. Yeah. Oh, whoops, excuse me, Lou. I just put in your name for uh, the pack here. All right, excellent. <laughs> Lou's got a free 1980 Tops basketball pack in the house today. <laughs> Kev, sorry about that, bud. This is your 1980 Tops basketball pack, pack number 107, coming at you live from the 459. We are Vintage Breaks, sponsored by SportsCollectorsDaily.com, the great American collectible show, JustCollect.com, and, of course, our good friends at PSA, Professional Sports Authenticators. All right. First card coming out, Calvin Murphy is the highlight. At least a Hall of Famer, but a little bit OC. All right. Calvin Murphy. There we go. Hey, Jason. Thanks for joining us. What's up, Brian? So I saw your Bruins are down, what, 2-1 now, uh, Lou? Yeah, that was frustrating. Like, that game was frustrating. Game three. I just read about it. I didn't watch it, but it seems like it had the potential to be perceived like like that by Boston fans. Yeah, the, the Bruins can be a frustrating bunch. Also, I'm a Jets fan. You're, 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 you're preaching the wrong guy. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but we are hoping for bigger and better this year. What I really hope, Lou, is that, and I did it once in my life, but if the Jets somehow, somehow, can put together, you know, like a very exciting season where we're relevant. Yep. And the Patriots-Jets game is relevant in your neck of the woods. Oh, I'm sure I won't make it out alive, but I would love to go. You know what? Up here, we consider every division game relevant because division games are tough. That's why you win. Yep. Nate Archibald right there, the Hall of Fame action, but unfortunately a little bit of... Ooh. So we had a Dr. J coming up here, but we're missing the magic in the bird. Wow. I mean, I am certainly no fashion connoisseur. V8, if you're watching this. <laughs> look at the color. Are you checking out the colors of this? No, this look at the colors. This is cray cray. It's, um, it's a little behind. Uh, all right, all right. I can't see it yet. Yeah, well, if you want to check it out in person, you can come over here if you like, but this is wild. That looks like the temp if the Temptations had a basketball team. Like, did they been. just leave? <laughs> I'm not sure even how to describe that. That's wild. Really, really nice fashion yeah. going on. Yeah, that's kicking. Mm -hmm. Like Gladys Knight and the Pips basketball. Yep. You right got there. a lot of stuff going on there. All right, so we're going to sleeve that up. Great. Because they do grade the posters now, as we've mentioned. Dr. J, fortunately we're missing the magic and the bird for you, Kev, but we still have a few more cards in the pack. What's up, Jason, Greg, and Vernon? Thanks for joining us. Hey, what's up, RJ? <laughs> Albert says those guys were fly. <laughs> and they were. They were absolutely they, fly. Yeah, listen, that's the only way you could pull that off. This is cool. Yeah, not engaging in cultural appropriation. They will fly. So I certainly know Chris Ford. I do not remember Rick Roby, former Celtic. Do you? Oh, sure. You do? Rick Roby. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I was I was literally like nothing at this point. I weighed four pounds. Um, <laughs> and and I, I was a Celtics fan, but not quite yet. Oh, yeah. wow. So Lloyd B., you know, I'm not normally, uh, you know, one of the comics. I feel like he had a... Did he, like, lose some hair here? I feel like he used to have a lot more hair than that. Wow, yeah. Maybe yeah. he went through the process afterwards. Maybe Who he knows? went through the process, exactly. You know what I mean? Listen, 1980, process was a little bit, you know, immature at that time. If I had money, I'd go through the process, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lou, because I haven't paid the bill, that's, oh, I feel terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just kidding. I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I thought that was a good way to bring it all together, though. Oh, God. <laughs> Yes, Clark. I, I had thought of that, but no, I didn't. That's funny. Um, so, Clark, PSA is grading the posters now. That was funny. Hey, Abraham, how are you? You know, Chris Ford was definitely the coach of uh, the Celts. Was yes. he the coach of the Bucks also? I believe so, but oh. I'm not a guy to rely on for NBA knowledge. No, I do that believe I, that. I know. Yeah. Hey, Jim, thanks for joining us. All right, so that is 1980 Tops Basketball, pack number 107 in the books. 
should be able to fit in. Do you want me to show you the, uh, the t-shirt design? Oh, yes, please. You can show our audience. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's a mock-up. Everyone has no, to understand. No, totally. So once again, Lou's about to uh, show off a mock-up. 